All right, Juan. First of all, congratulations to a head coach of a Division One team. Uh, Juan, were you surprised that this happened this quickly? Well, I mean, I knew when I was playing basketball that I wanted to coach, um, and I, that was I had my mind set on that. You know, I envisioned that happening, uh, and it's crazy though because I told some friends of mine and some colleagues years ago, maybe three years ago when I was at Maryland, that I wanted to be a head coach at the age of thirty-eight. And I think it's just a part of my part of the plan, and it worked out. So uh, I'm extremely blessed and then grateful for this opportunity, and I'm just looking forward to live out my purpose and um, change lives. I want to develop young men, and uh, we want to have some fun doing it. You sure are, and what I'm happy about is that it's in Baltimore, and I love the cop at the Talent Center, great arena, brand new. you got to be ecstatic about that. I'm so ecstatic. You have no idea. We have a beautiful campus. Uh, it's grown a lot. Uh, so it's, it's an attractive place. And, and with the story behind our program, it's not going to be hard to get the type of recruits we need to compete at a high level. Um, we're out here right now um, communicating with the 17, 2017 kids that are left, trying to find the best quality talent uh, that can help our program go in the right direction. Look, when Juan Dixon comes to a kid in Baltimore to recruit him. Holy cow, Wine, what, is, what an advantage for you. Everybody knows who you are. Everybody knows what the great things you did in Maryland. Everybody loves you. And uh, I think your recruiting, certainly in the Baltimore area, is going to be off the charts. Tremendous edge. Uh, I've got to ask you one question, though. Your move to uh, UDC women's team, Did that, how did that help you? I mean, I know it was a tough yeah. situation. You came in with a, uh, in a tough situation, you had a tough year. How did that help you get this job? Well, um, Patricia Thomas gave me an unbelievable opportunity at UDC. You know, she gave me my first break that I felt like I needed uh, to for my coaching career to move uh, forward. But I took that job because it's a part of my purpose. Like, I want to be able to help develop our young community. You know, people was like, you know, what is Vaughn Dixon doing? He's crazy coaching women in the D2. I really didn't care because I knew I was doing uh, what it was set out for me to do, and that's to develop and mentor. Even though it was women, you know, I've lived life much longer than they did, and I've had experiences. And I just, I, you know, we had times where we just talked in a huddle just about life, and that's what I'm about. It's, it's bigger than basketball. It's, it's about developing, you know, young women, young men, my son's eight-year-old football team where all the good habits start. It's about teaching them how to present some of the mistakes I've made, communicate with them about life. And I did it all the time with my young ladies at, at UDC, and I'm looking forward to doing, doing it uh, with these young men. And, you know, it prepared me. I mean, it taught me patience. I got in-game experience as a head coach. I was able to be a leader and, and, and run a program with great assistants and, and faculty and staff. So, man, I'm prepared for this moment. I mean, this is something that's been in the making for many, many years. I was very fortunate, fortunate to be able to work for Coach Turner for three years and learn how to run a program at the highest level. So uh, for people, you know, saying one lack head coach experience, guys, I have I played basketball my whole life. I learned from some of the greatest coaches. I have some of the best mentors, so I'm looking forward to uh, this challenge. The Juan, there's nobody could ever question uh, your background, your pedigree. I'm a Tucci, and then Williams, uh, playing for the Wizards, played great for the Wizards. Even had a chance to play with Michael Jordan. Right. Um, I never forget. Doug I never Doug forget. Jones. Well, I was at a Wizards game. I think it was a Saturday night against the Bulls, and you scored. Jordan was playing, and you scored like twenty nine points. And thirty five. Uh, excuse me. And after <laughs> don't game. sell them short. Come right. on. And after the game, Jordan said, "Juan's got to learn to play defense better." <laughs> you remember that? <laughs> yeah, I do. Coach Jordan's my man. It's funny that playoff game, game three. Um, I went zero for ten from the field. Right. right? Went to Coach Jordan. I said, Coach, please believe in me. I'm going to come back strong game four. And I went the next couple of days, you know, leading up to game four, and I just worked on my game, got in the gym, got up thousands of shots, and I came out. There was no secret why I was able to have that game. And Coach Jordan, I've learned so much from him. He was the ultimate player's coach. And for him to say, Juan, he walked out, he winked his out like, I got you. 
and for him to have the confidence in me um, to, in a rotation, give me the type of minutes uh, that he felt like I needed to get a rhythm. And I went out and had 35, and we won a, a big-time game four and was able to win that series. So uh, I learned so much from starting from, you know, Cecil Kirk and Anthony Lewis and Mark Emmett, T.J. Calvo Hall, Coach Gary Williams, of course, at Maryland, Eddie Jordan, Doug Collins, Michael Jordan, who drafted me, who's the best player in the world. He made me realize how important screening is. And so I've been very fortunate to learn from some unbelievable coaches at every level. So I'm going to take my experiences and I'm going to apply it to our program. I'm going to give our kids a brand of basketball that they never witnessed before, how it's played at the highest level. And I'm the ultimate players coach. I mean, my players, our players are going to have fun. So for, for Derek Carter, and, of course, uh, Dr. Maria Thompson for giving me this amazing opportunity. I won't let them down. Uh, we're going to take Hoppin to a place uh, where, they're, where, where they're, they've been and hopefully uh, take them uh, to a place further. You know, Coach, we all know what Coach Fane Mitchell did. I'm looking forward to getting it back to where Coach Fane had this program. Coach, let me tell you, Fang Mitchell, one of the great guys of Maryland basketball, one of the great guys, period. And, uh, to, to come in his uh, footsteps a few years later, they got the right guy, Juan. And, I, you know, it's funny. People forget the, the success that Coppin State had over the years. That's right. I remember one time they beat Maryland, and Gary went too happy about it. All right? uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> he, never, he never played him again. But right. uh, but uh, you know you got you, you have the locals on the schedule besides the MIAC and the one thing I implore everyone because I've been there I went to I went to a couple games the first year that Coppin uh, the Talent Center opened this is one of the best you know what four or five thousand seat arenas in the country yes it is it is and I unbelievable think, I think that that facility your history. Your uh, presence in Baltimore is going to lead to success. And, Juan, I'm going to tell you, Mayor Terrapin Nation can't be any happier for you. Thank right? you so much. And it I is, really appreciate it is so great. And I guarantee you I'll be there opening night when Coppin State plays. I'm, and I, I'm looking forward to seeing you. You have my word on that. And, I, I, and, you know, it's funny. I was talking with Stan, the fan. We were both talking about how excited we were that you're back in Baltimore, especially at Coppin. And um, it's super. So I wish you the best of luck. I'm going to have you on my show over the time. And I'm going to promote Coppin State basketball as much as I can. I because, really appreciate it. Because you did so much for the University of Maryland. You know where I stand there. And I'll never forget it. So congratulations. Welcome back to Baltimore. You're home again. And uh, it's going to be a great run for you. Thank you so much. It feels great to be home. Go Eagles. Let's go, baby. Best of luck, man. I'm so happy for you. Enjoy it and enjoy the run and get to work, as they say. Let's go. All right, buddy. Take care.